neighbors that we're part of. Uh, but that's more, much more concentrated, as I mentioned, on the business part of, of the relationship and the trading part of the relationship. But not, we are not that profoundly knowledgeable about our cultures. We're not profoundly knowledgeable about the problem that is going on in Mexico today. <coughs> Violence, crime, drugs. That's not our problem. We just happen to be in between. The drug producing nations of the South, Colombia, Venezuela, Bolivia, Ecuador, and the huge, the mammoth market of drug consumption in the United States. So everything that is going on in Mexico depends and comes from here. The product, the income of the drug activity in the United States, the consumer in the United States, yields billions, billions of US dollars that are laundered here by American institutions in the private sector. Money that, after laundered here, goes back to Mexico to bribe Mexican policemen, Mexican officials. Money that goes to buy guns and ammunition here in this nation that is so easy to attain and to buy here in the United States, and they are brought back to Mexico. So we have those powerful cartels because get, they get the money by selling drugs here in the United States, and they buy the guns and equip themselves with that same money. I wonder, I wonder what happens with the drug when, once it crosses the border. Who takes it from there? to Boulder, Colorado, you have drug here. Lots of drug. Who takes it to Seattle, Washington? Who takes it to Chicago, to New York, to Washington, to wherever? It's not the Mexicans. There are criminals here in this nation. The distribution of drugs is done in this nation. The collecting of the money is done here in this nation. And so, uh, we have to think about that. And we have to have information so that when you question yourself to say what's going on in Mexico, what is going on in Mexico depends very much on what's happening here.